Okay, so this evening I want to talk to you about charisma, which is in my book, The Art of Making Others Feel Great. And I'm fairly confident that I'm the only speaker who's going to quote from Glenn Campbell. So charisma, it comes from the word, a Greek word meaning gift or grace. And you'll be pleased to know that charisma is only 50% nature. So 50% of us are not born with charisma, but we can develop it. What do we mean by charisma? It's about being authentic, about being honest and trustworthy, speaking from the heart. It's also, <laughs> it's also about being generous with our time, inspiring and uplifting others, people that we come into contact with, that we can utterly inspire and give our spirits to. There is a myth that in order to be charismatic, one has to be an extrovert. But actually, introverts make very good charismatic people too. Because uh, we can be quietly charismatic, as well as loudly charismatic. <laughs> what is fundamental to charisma is emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is fundamentally about self-awareness. About being aware of the way that we behave, and about the emotions, and how they affect ourselves and others. And he who knows others is wise, but he who knows himself is enlightened. Charisma comes from enlightenment, enlightenment of ourselves and how we impact on other people around us. Charismatic people have, there are three fundamentals to charisma. One is presence, one is warmth, and one is power and influence. What do we mean by presence? We all know people who have presence. When they walk into a room, they fill it with energy, with spirit, they sparkle. And they also bring with them a real warmth, which makes us feel good inside. It makes us feel great. What's important is charismatic people need to focus on making others feel great rather than themselves. And the third, the third element is power and influence. What's really important here is the use of power and influence, that we influence for the good of others and that we use our power appropriately and not in order to make ourselves look great. So how do we share our charisma? We do it through our body language, the way that we stand, the way that we wear our tie. Uh, shaking hands is a very good one, very simple one of sharing your charisma. Um, when you're shaking hands with somebody, no dead fish, please. Make sure you give a nice, firm handshake. Uh, no knuckle crushing, of course. Facial expression is really important. We talk about eye contact a lot, but actually, you know, eye contact isn't always good. Sometimes it's good to be standing by the side of somebody so that actually you're not making eye contact. Some people are much more comfortable that way. Active listening, absolutely essential to being charismatic. Giving people 100% of your attention. Making them feel that what they're saying is of the utmost importance to you. Staying in the moment. Stay with what the person is saying, teaching you, sharing with you. You know, you can read on somebody's face if really all they're waiting for is you to stop talking so they can say what they want to say. So give your full attention. It's a gift that few of us have on a continual basis. Giving full attention is really making that other person feel like, wow, I am somebody really important here. Self-confidence, empathy, assertiveness come from self-respect and having dignity. And people recognize that and remember that. And finally, <laughs> I want to leave you with uh, the name of a woman I've mentioned to somebody this evening already, Brenny Brown. If you haven't come across her, Google her. There are two TED Talks. She spent 10 years researching vulnerability and shame, and I would highly recommend you have a look. Because vulnerability is a key word as part of being charismatic. So that was your quick guide to charisma. I'm Jackie O'Carroll. Thank you for listening. <laughs>